Now, there will be some times where you don't have much control over the class you want to be injected. In this example, I have added a dependency, a JSON dependency. Now, this JSON library is used to and can be used to convert objects to JSON format. Currently, to use it, I might need to create a new object manually. In the house class, I have added a new method called useJSON that accepts a person object. But I don't want to have to create a JSON object manually. Unfortunately, even if I go to the class, I cannot annotate it with inject because this is not the class I created. This is part of the library I have installed in the project. How do we teach Dagger how to create the class? That is where modules come in. So we'll create a new class and annotate it with module. And then inside the module, we have methods. Now, a module is an annotation used to mark a class that provides dependencies. Now that class has different methods and each of these methods can have the provides annotation. Now we use provides to mark a method in a module that returns a dependency. Now the name of the method doesn't really matter. It is what it returns, the type it returns that matters. Now the method get JSON returns a JSON type. And anytime Dagger needs a JSON object, it will search and call that. One more thing, after creating your module, you make sure to include it in your component. This is how I include my module in the component. You can have more module classes. You mustn't just have one. I can have another class that is a module that provides different dependencies. Currently, I have just one. So I will just list the only one, which is app module.class. So when Daga needs a dependency, it can search on the available modules and then get it if it finds a method that provides that type of value. Here is a person class, a very simple class. It has a name and an age, a constructor, and then getters and setters. So when we have an object, the JSON library should be able to easily convert this to a JSON string. So I can come over here and put inject into the variable just as I did for the kitchen. But in this situation, the object provided is from the model. Now we use that variable here and we convert the person argument to a JSON string. All this is possible because the JSON variable has been instantiated. Don't forget to rebuild your project after making these changes. So the modules class is just an additional way of providing dependencies. And this is very useful, for example, when you have classes that you don't have control over, you can't put the inject annotation on their constructors. So go try it out. I hope this was clear and simple. Go and practice it.